Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining today. Let's play some Empire Total War. We are back with our uh, with our Persia campaign. And last we left off, so we've taken Baghdad. Uh, we were also able to get a piece with the Ottomans. I honestly do not think it'll last too long. Um, probably not, but you know, where do we can? Okay, what uh, what I'm wondering now though is, so we're sending our army east. What I noticed was the French split up their forces into two. They sent the main force with some coureurs de bois, the line of a tree, uh, one demi cannons actually, and then the general was actually really really good. He's got like seven command or something. I think they're going for Afghanistan over there. And so they left a force behind here. Um, it's a pretty token force. They got Gandamari, uh, Line of a Tree, Demi Cannons, and Militia. So I can take that out pretty easily with what I have. Um, I started to train up two more Shaternal Camel Gunners over here. I'm actually debating... Maybe trying to find something somewhere that I can maybe cancel to get some troops. What do I have here? Let's see, that's the fungus. Um, do I have anything that like I'm, I can like cancel from constructing? I don't know. Um, I, have a, I have a building slot there. There's nothing else. I don't know. And I can't. I don't think I can get money from anybody or anything like that from from here. Hmm. Um, what I'm what I'm thinking is we destroy the French forces and then move west and take out Georgia. I think that's probably the best way to go forward. We possibly could get attacked from the Ottomans, but I think I'm okay with that if we're able to beat the French. If we get the French off our land and move west and maybe get our trade back in order. You know, we can be making some pretty decent money. I mean, I think we have, how many trade partners do we actually have? Um, look at that, we have seven different trade partners. So the thing is, is once we get our ports back open, you know, we'll make some pretty decent cash. Um, I think we're gonna have less of an issue with money after we're able to get the French off our land and, and you know, have them stop blockading my ports and that kind of thing. What, what I could also do is actually take a look at where we have our fleet. This fleet is not very large. Um, I could probably take the fifth rate and the galleys. Once we get the, the, the main French forces off our land, we could probably just train up a couple brigs. Um, and I think just maybe take these guys out. So th this is two six rates, a brig, and a fifth rate. So we just need like maybe five or six brigs. We could probably take these guys out in a naval battle. And after that, I don't know what resources France would, would really have to send our way. I think we'd probably be safe for the most part. So anyway, yeah, I was hoping to train up one more Shaternal Camel Gunner. I, what I wanted to do was send them up north. Um, I have a pretty, you know, pretty decent force here. I kind of want one more of these guys because we don't have a lot of ranged. And what I'm also wondering is they don't have a lot of melee troops, to be fair. But then again, they don't really have too much. They more have cavalry and, and militia and stuff. So we kind of want to be able to beat them at range if we if we can. We don't have access to artillery. Um, I'm working on these just because we really do need these. I'm not going to be able to train up artillery anyway. What I was what I was kind of realizing though, Georgia has a school here, which is kind of weird. To my understanding, they're one of the few minor factions to start out with a school um, already built. Most minor factions actually don't have one, and they usually don't get one. You know, so what I'm actually thinking is we we take a look here and we send one of our scholars to go steal tech from them. I would rather do it from them than say go to the Ottomans and steal that stuff there. We probably could, but we risk pissing the Ottomans off. So I think I'm actually okay with sending them up to the Georgian um, school. And Georgia does not have any any structures in order to get any assassins or anything like that. They're not going to be able to stop me from stealing their tech. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. That'll at least get us ahead in the technology game a little bit, depending on what they've researched or not. So really, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over here. We're going to pick up these Eternal Camel Gunners. We're making some actually decent cash, almost two grand a turn, which is, which is good enough. We're going to see here if we can eliminate the French, and then we'll push back west, take Georgia... And then we'll probably, if, maybe we'll go after Dagestan. I don't know. They're at war with the Russians. And it looks like they're actually making some gains over here. So I, we may leave the Dagestanis alone. Um, Georgia, I definitely need, though. It's actually one of our victory conditions. Um, we have to have Georgia. So we'll see. We'll see what, we'll, we'll see what happens. Is there anything else I could do this turn? I don't think so. Um, this place is going to be okay. The town watch is going to cost me some money. I could exempt it from tax. It will, it will bring our income down a little bit, though, which I don't really want. I, I kind of need every penny I can get right now, so it is what it is. Uh, so the French are moving for, for Afghanistan. They're moving through areas that don't have roads, though, so this may actually take them some time to get there. I think I'm okay with letting Kabul fall. We're not getting taxed from it anyway. 
at this present time, we're not getting any text from Kabul anyway. Um, not to mention if they have rebel problems up there, which they almost certainly will. I think I'm okay with that. We could take Baluchistan, push them north, surround them, and that's it. Um, okay, so we have workers on strike in Mesopotamia. Yeah, those guys are those guys are fine though. They're gonna be just fine. You know what I just realized over here? This was kind of interesting. Um, it looks like Norway became independent, which is actually pretty strange. I really don't see that very often. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, I actually can't tell. Were they all were they already there? I don't think so. Yeah, no, Denmark I think owns Norway at the beginning of the uh, of the campaign. Then they also own yeah, Iceland. So I thought I thought that was kind of interesting. Sorry about that. That was my phone. Um, I don't know if it's just me or if it's anybody else. Does anybody else get a lot of scam calls? I get a lot of scam calls here in the United States. Um, I probably get maybe two or three a day. <laughs> So, uh, just, just, I, I don't know. I just thought that was an interesting kind of point. Okay, so this is a pretty decent force. We're going to move these troops. It's going to take us, ooh, it's going to take us almost three turns, huh? Um, is it these two guys? Who do we, who did we pick up, actually? I'm kind of curious. Um... That's interesting. Okay, so we can't move any farther with or without the cavalry. I know, maybe we can. So is it this guy? I think it's because of the inventory, that's why. Wow, these guys can actually move really far. No, no, that means that these guys must be the troops that we just raised. Because that means that they have a lot more movement left, right? Damn, they can go really far on their own. Like, what would it take to just have an all cavalry force? Wow, we'd get there in two turns instead of three. That's actually that's actually kind of crazy. Um, okay, how long is it gonna take them? I'm gonna get. They really didn't move that much. They really didn't move that far at all, which is actually a little unusual. Hmm. Okay. So how much money are we making? We're making, yeah, we're making like 1200 right now. So it's not great. Um, I could get this port. Here's the thing. I want to get the ports occupied. I want to get the ports occupied so that we can maybe get some trade going. The thing is, is I know this French fleet's going to blockade them anyway, right? At least now, I'm able to control what they're blockading. I think I'd rather have them be here than over here at the strait. Um, also, I, I don't really want this force to be able to, you know, get back on the boats and, and leave or something like that. If they're over here, at least that can't happen. So. Okay, so we have, we have some money. Um, this is kind of a, a dilemma is, do I get more troops for this force? I think I kind of do want another Shaternal Camel Gunners up there. I don't think the Georgians... Ooh, they actually are training more troops, which is interesting. I was actually kind of concerned that they couldn't afford anymore. I was kind of hoping that was the case. The thing is... Here's the thing. is They're training a lot of cavalry, which is my concern. They have one regiment of horse here. They've got three here. they got Totters, Provincial Cavalry, and Regiment of Horse. And then if they recruit a general, that's even more. So I need a pretty decent force of cavalry up here to be able to contend with that. Either that, or I play more defensively, you know, and get some pikemen or something... None of these troops, none of, none of the ground troops are able to, to take on cavalry. So, I think I'm actually okay with getting, I'm, I think I'm going to get like two more camels up here. I'm going to get the camel nomads up there and I'm going to get the Shaternal camel gunners down here. I'm not sure if we can afford much else though, at least for now. I think I'm okay with that. So, it's going to take about three turns to get here. I probably, once we get about here, I'm going to send in the cavalry to, to do the job and we'll have the reinforcements come on in. Um, we can take that battle. That should be okay. There's really not much else to do here. I could grab... I kind of do want to craft some workshops here. Get some more money going. Is there anything... I don't think there's anything in Persia. I think we've pretty much done almost everything. And let's see. So this is a growing town. So we definitely do want some craft workshops for weavers there. And then this is also... This is actually a very poor town. So if we wanted to, we could build something else. I don't think we need anything else, though. Um, Mesopotamia is going to keep growing. 
Yeah, devastation by armies, immigration to the colonies. Yeah, it's it's not great. Are they training any troops in Armenia? You can always tell when the AI is is thinking about attacking you by if they're training troops or not. It doesn't look like they are. Um, at least not anywhere over here. They could they could as well be in you know in Palestine or, or Egypt, but I'm kind of thinking they have their hands full with the uh, with the Austrians. That's my guess. France definitely has their hand full. They're at war with. Let's see, Austria, it looks like Savoy, the United Provinces, Poland, Lithuania, Russia, me. And they're like hostile with Great Britain, which is weird. They're allied with Spain, Georgia, and the Italian states. Is that funny they're allied with Georgia? It's it's so weird what the what the AI does, seriously. Um Yeah, I think that's it. I think I mean we're gonna be able to maybe steal technology in a couple turns. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to send, you know, some camels up there to the north. Yeah, I think that's it for this turn. I got to keep it on the French. Oh, you bastards. Look at that. Okay, so left the port. They're going to blockade me now. I think I'm okay with that. It's going to hurt our income, though. I know that for a fact. Um, I, was, I was barely making money as it was. Without the income. We might actually be, like, bank. I hope we're not bankrupt here. Hmm. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're losing some money. We're located. Okay. Okay. Well, I can, I can repair that. Um, we are going to lose money next turn. I think the trade will, will help us out. Is this because... Yes, these routes are being blockaded. So are we getting... Well, no, so we don't get any money through ports that are not functional. Okay. So I'm going to send this guy up north. I can almost get there, too. Okay. So here's here's a question. They're, they have no general. They have no general in this force. So here's a question. is Do we attack them in the field? They have five units of cavalry. In this force, we have four. They have one pikeman, two units of line infantry. I actually think with this amount of inventory, we can probably take them on. I would prefer to have this guy in this force, though. We do have a general, to be fair. Um, I really do think I actually probably should attack him in the field. I wonder if he runs away. Then again, if we wait... Well, I'll tell you why I don't want to wait. I don't want him to go straight towards Persia. That would be, like, horrible. Because we have pretty good roads. He could get here pretty fast if he wanted to. You know, I, mean, I think I think I can get there in almost, yeah, almost a turn or two. And because he doesn't have a general, and I do, I do have a theory that his morale is not going to hold up as well as I think it will. Um, I was actually a little bit cautious with the Ottomans. Probably. Probably. I, his, his morale really didn't hold up that well. Which kind of surprised me, um, to tell you the truth. I thought we would have more trouble with him. Okay, so they're probably going to get to Kabul in the next turn. I'm lucky, though. I don't make any money there anyway. So I might as well just do that. <laughs> you know? I make, I make no cash from there whatsoever. So. Okay. Um, Savoy's friendly with me. We're actually, yeah, we're allied to Savoy because he's at war with France. George is a son of a bitch. Um, Dagestan. I actually would not mind an alliance with him. Then again, he's at war with the Russians, so maybe that's not a good idea. Yeah, let's see. Can the cavalry... How far can the cavalry get? Not too much farther. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, you only move as far as your slowest unit, so the infantry really can't move that far. Okay. Um, do I wait for this guy? Probably I want to. The thing is, is I just don't know... You know, if he attacks and assaults now anyway. I mean, is that that big of a deal, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. These regiments of horse aren't bad. Melee defense. These camel nomads have less defense. They do have better attack. Well, actually, no. No, they have equal attack to a, a regiment of horse. He's got no general, though. So, the, here's a question. is Do I take the chance that he's going to bypass the city and go straight for Persia? Because what I don't want to do is withdraw from here... And he has a small force here that he can use to take this place if I have to chase his army down. I really don't like that. I think I have to attack him. We have an equal number of troops, too. Oh, man, that's that's a tough one. Hmm. 
And also, at least if I attack him here right now, I can guarantee that he doesn't have a general. He could hire one between the time that he is here and, you know, sieges the city. I think I'm going to attack him. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Um, yeah, I got to admit, if we lose this battle, we're going to be in some shit. It's not going to be good. But I got I to gotta at least see if I can do some damage here. I think the Camel Nomads might be able to take on the Regiment of Horse. Um, his line of infantry I'm a little concerned about, but we do outnumber them as far as ranged ranged cavalry or ranged infantry. He's got more morale. Uh, it's not looking great. Okay. I'm going to put these skirmishers, I think, in the center. I actually really do wish I had some sort of melee infantry of some kind. I don't really have anybody that would do a good job. Actually, it's funny. These Felahine Musketeers are probably the best. Yeah, I want these guys here. Let me put... I'll put you here. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to swap this because I have the, I have the helmet here. I'm going to put two camel nomads on my left and see what he does. I want to put the Shaternal camel gunners in a place where they can maybe support the helmet. If, if need be. Uh, let me make these guys two, one, two, and then we got the general. He's got no, no artillery, which is nice. Okay. So what's he got? So he he deployed uh, provincial cavalry totters over here. Line of infantry, damn, he's got three of those regiments, dude. Shit, I don't know why. I think I might have counted two. He's got pikes, and then he's got three regiment of horse and totter, or two regiment of horse and totters. Okay, so that's an interesting question then. Um, I'm not as worried about this guy. These regiment of horse are better. I'm a little more concerned about them. I really kind of wish I actually had that Shaternal Camel Gunners. I probably should have waited. Mm. But do you have the choice to withdraw? You could. Um, hmm. So, so this is an interesting question is if we send in the infantry, we bum rush these guys. I can probably take those two on. And then on this flank... I think we stay a little more passive. I don't know, though, because he's got three here. I feel like, if anything... That's a hard one. Hmm. These guys won't do well against line of entry, I have to admit. I can I can already kind of guess that. The thing is, though, I'm not so convinced that their morale will hold up. But we do need to maybe envelop their flanks. We definitely need to get rid of most of the cav. I know his general is going to be one of these guys. They're deploying a bit. Let's see two. Unless I try and pot shot the cavalry with my inventory. The skirmishers have a uh, they have a pretty long range compared to uh, I wonder I actually probably could even take pot shots with the Shaternal Camel Gunners. Let's see up to Is he charging me? Holy shit he is. Okay. The hell is this guy's what's his plan? I'm sending in the I'm sending in the inventory here. He's charging these dudes. His totters did not hold up. Oh god, this guy's gonna get a brunt of the charge right here. Ooh. Oh, okay, they're wavering. Okay.
Oh shit, guard mode people. Guard mode people. Looks like we broke that calf. Let's see, we are beating uh, the totters slightly. I'm trying to get the infantry engaged. I got them running now, too. Um, where's their calves? Their calves are coming around here. Okay. I'm redeploying the camel nomads to the left. Shaturno camel gunners, I think I'm actually okay keeping over here. Fire, damn it! Let me see if I can get around. This guy's flying. Run, damn it! How are these guys doing? This guy's uh, this guy's kind of getting wrecked a little bit. I kind of want to pull him out. They're winning, but just barely. Oh shit! Got the pikemen. Shit! Shit! He broke. Okay. Oh, I see these guys. Okay, so we broke, uh, we broke those provincial cavalry. Come on, damn it. Damn it, you bastards! Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so we're gonna break the totters, and then I think that's their general. So I'm gonna rush his ass. Um, these guys are actually not doing that great. Holy shit, we just demolished that dude. Wow. Okay, so we're sending in the regiment of horse here. Trying to see if I can get a little closer here. Um, these fellow here are really taking the brunt of the beating here. I think I'm going to send him in. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Run, damn it. Run, damn it. Your fat ass is moving, dude. All right, we're gonna rush him with the camels. So I think we'll be okay. Yeah, these uh, these camel gunners actually have pretty decent range too. Yeah, 90 range. Oh, <laughs> dude, did you guys see that? That was gnarly. Oh yeah. Okay, we should be able to take that. Let's see, we've taken a couple couple uh, losses here. Let's go and send those guys in. Fuck. That was a bad volley. Ugh. I think the line of entry might be charging the Desert Warriors. I'm not sure, though. Um, okay, so we're still in battle here. Who's this? Ah, shit. This fellow Heener not doing not doing that great. Oh god, we're actually gonna lose both these troops here, I think. Where did this guy come from? Oh wait, what the hell? Let me see if I can break that dude. Son of a bitch. Okay, we're yeah, our left flank just collapsed. So that's great. I want to see if I can break those dudes. I I don't think these guys are going to get a volley off. Okay. 
I gotta see if I can break these guys. Son of a bastard, the desert warriors. Ugh. Yeah, let, with yeah, we just got wrecked over there with the camel nomads. They really didn't do that great. These guys are actually holding out pretty long, which is kind of surprising. Yeah, those line infantry are pretty good. We still aren't broken, these guys? Fuck, come on. We've got plenty of ammunition for these guys, so... Oh my god, we're getting wrecked, dude. Seriously, holy shit. I don't know if we're gonna win this. I am pretty much out of men at this point. These guys are holding actually a lot longer than I expected them to. This guy's probably coming after my Chaternal Camel Gunners. Let's say we're done there. Let me see if we can take some pot shots at that dude. I think this Provincial Cavalry broke. Okay. Okay, are we going to win against this dude? I'm actually really not sure. Um, I kind of want to get a charge in the back, but I really don't think I can. Because these guys broke. Fuck. Because my general dies, this is all over, dude. Shit, I think he's redeploying for my for my gunners. Maybe. These guys are like my my saving grace right now. We're running out of men. We're out of men now. Holy shit! Yep, charge him! Charge him, people! Oh! Did they break? No, they didn't. Fuck. I need him to break. This is pretty tired. Break, damn it! Break, damn it! Fuck you guys, you line of a tree pieces of shit! Alright, we're gonna let them duke it out. Uh, this guy's really out of men. 57 men. Oh god, are we gonna win this yet? Holy shit. How are they lasting for so long without a general, dude? That's ridiculous. Fire, you bastards! We're gonna skirmish mode these dudes. Oh, come on, guys! Are you kidding me? Fuck me! I won't fucking fire! Fire! Just shoot, dude! Oh my god, are you serious? The helmet, dude. The general's gonna have to do it, man. Oh, this is ridiculous. Come on. Just give me, like, one good volley, dude. Oh, hell yeah! That's what, that's what I'm talking about right there. Holy shit. Fuck. Okay, come on. Come on. Get in there, dudes! Get in there, dudes! This is not a bayonet, right? No. You do not. Can you believe this? These guys are lasting. Can you believe this bullshit? Wow. Do you have any idea how long those guys lasted with no general? That is ridiculous. Oh my god. I can't believe we just won this battle. Did you have any idea how close that was? They're gonna escape anyway. Do we destroy the force? Look at that, dude. It's gonna cost me four grand to get this force replenished. Holy shit. I just can't believe that. Wow. We lit we barely won that. I'm telling you right now, guys. That was way too close. Um I do kind of wonder, do we destroy them and maybe get Georgia to give me a piece? He's not gonna give it to me now. 
Holy shit. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. I kind of wonder if I'll attack me again with these troops. God, we, I don't even know if I'd win that, dude. They lasted that long with no general. I can't believe that shit. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna try and fight that, dude. That's that's not gonna happen. So at least we know he's in Kabul and he's gonna be stuck there. At least I know that much. He's gonna have some some unrest issues over there. So he can't move out from this position. So that's nice. And we'll just we'll just go in and circle him after that. Fucking Georgia, though, too. Jesus. Where the hell is this dude think he's going? Did he train a Tatar unit? I think he did. That son of a bitch. I mean, honestly, it's not good for us. Yeah, this is going to piss these guys off. Ugh. Four turns until surrender? Okay. Um, let's go ahead. Let's keep trying to get these troops replenished. It's going to take some time. We can at least get some of these smaller units replenished. I think I have no choice but to probably just leave him there for now. We really... If I can get this force back up to full strength, then we'll be okay. But I can't... I can't attack him right now. Um, he's only probably just going to get more reinforcements. At least I think if he's in my territory, he's not going to replenish these troops at all. I'm pretty sure anyway. I really wish I could get a piece from him, dude. I just... I can't be dealing with both of these guys. Fucking French, I swear. Okay, I think we're going to fight this in the next episode. Yeah, two firelocks, militia, no general, Gendarmery, demi cannons. We should be fine. We can take that. We should be all right. God, that was ridiculous, though. I cannot believe we, we so almost lost that. It was just nothing short of ridiculous. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.